So I don't normally film videos like this, but I just found it to be really interesting and I wanted to share it with the people that follow me. You guys let me know down in the comment section. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. It's called SB 14. It was a bill uh, that was supposed to make it a more serious offense for anyone that is caught sex trafficking children um, and just make the overall crime more severe. I began to do a little bit more digging and I wanted to share with you what I came to find out. Uh, it is to be said, right, that this bill was supposed to be passed in California. And I began asking a very simple question, right? I, I like understanding the data, the kind of different moving numbers. I wanted to understand, well, is this even a very serious crime in California or is this just another bill that is being presented, right? Uh, when I began to do a little bit more digging, right, it says that California consistently ranks number one in the nation in the number of human trafficking cases reported to the National Human Traffic Hotline. So it's not just if it's a big problem in California, or if it's even a problem, it is the problem in the entire nation. I mean, you can really do some more digging, uh, but what I came to find out is just, again, a more uh, de defined definition of what this SB 14 bill would be, right? And it's a bill that would increase sex trafficking of a minor in the list of crimes that are defined as a serious under California law, making the crime a strike under the three strike law. If passed, SB 14 would strengthen and uh, the strength protections for the millions of victims of sex trafficking. So this was a supposed fight to end sex trafficking. I don't, my, my thing is like out of all the laws that are passed, like how is this even like debatable, right? You're either for the children or you are not, or you're just, you know, I wanted to do a little bit more digging and I, I don't like to really just give in to the very simple answer of, oh, it's because everyone's participating in it. I don't believe that. I don't believe everyone's participating in it. I always would like to think that there is a why and they have to give somewhat of a reason why, right? And what I began to learn uh, and read more on um, was that when it comes down to the main reason, supposedly, that they voted to, to downplay this bill is because there is overcrowding in our jail. And there's already laws in place that already will take care of anyone who commits crimes like this. But my thing is, is if this bill is being passed, that just makes it more concerning for anyone that is debating on making uh, or committing this crime because the charges are going to be that much more severe it should hopefully scare them off right and this is in california the number one state in the nation on top of that it's not just a random state it is on the border of mexico and as a lot of you guys might know a lot of this sex trafficking or just human trafficking happens over the border so it is a hub in the United States for human trafficking. I did a little bit more digging and I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm a big numbers guy, as a lot of you guys might know. And it says, all Democrats on the committee declined to cast a vote. That would normally seal a bill's fate for the year. So not one Democrat casted a yay. There is two Republicans that casted a yay. If we would have just had the support of the Democrats, this would have passed by flying colors. My question is, where were the Democrats that voted yay for anyone under the age of 18 to be able to go through some form of sex change and not have to get their parents' permission? So how is it that we are looking out for our children and what they believe that they want to be defined as? And it's their own body, right? They can do whatever it is that they want. It's up to them, right? But now they're children and we're allowing them to do that without their parents' permission. But when it comes down to human trafficking, we don't look out for them there. And the excuse or the reason why, I don't want to call it an excuse because I'm sure it is a problem, but because of how congested our jails are that, well, we don't have to pass this. It's like you're either for the children or you are not. And I began to do just a little bit more digging and it says that according to to the number of cases that are reported every year in the United States, 700,000 cases. It said 600,000 to 800,000, so I'm saying 700,000 on average cases are reported each year for human trafficking. At least 50% of those are for children. Again, it's not even a, a debate of right or wrong. It's either you set up 
laws in place, like t- to me, it's black and white, right? Obviously, I'm in no position to be creating these laws, but I think the reason I wanted to make this video is first off, I don't feel like enough people are talking about it. It might be that I just recently became a father. Um, For me, it's very simple. I feel like if anyone commits these crimes, when it comes down to human trafficking, sex trafficking, especially for children, why wouldn't you put them away for life? Why wouldn't you, why could you not seek the death penalty? Again, and I began to do a little bit more digging, right? You guys obviously can see what's behind me. I'm not going to shove it down your throat that you guys need to go watch this. Uh, You're an adult most likely if you're watching this and you can make your own choice. I was unaware of what human trafficking or sex trafficking consisted of. I watched this movie and now I'm more informed. Do I think it was the most insane movie that, uh, you know, no, but I, it's like anything, right? A documentary where it informs you on what is going on. And by being more informed, I can make a more cognitive decision when I travel to specific places, especially with my young daughter, right? The thing that I came to find out is I wanted to understand why there was so much controversy uh, behind Sound of Freedom. And what I came to find out is Rolling Stone is one of the most popular uh, outlets, news outlets that shared their opinion about Sound of Freedom. And they um, threw shame to Sound of Freedom because they said that they exaggerated the truth about sex trafficking and human trafficking and made it seem worse than what it actually is. First off, even if that was true, which again, it's a movie, I'm sure to some degree, some things were exaggerated, but it's a movie and it's the intention behind the movie. Like, it's like, oh no, you're making those human traffickers or those pedophiles look too bad. What about all the movies that are created about murders or about other conspiracies that are posted on all platforms and all theaters? Why did it take five years for this thing to make it on the big screen? And why is it being blocked supposedly by big media? It just, it literally just doesn't make sense, right? What I wanted to share with you is one of my biggest things that I took away from this. And I came to find out that when I heard about the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing, first off, I didn't have a daughter there. I just thought it was a really rich guy doing weird things. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, that would never happen, right? When I came to find out and I looked a little bit more into this, Jeffrey Epstein was just the very popular island that got caught. There are supposedly many more islands like this as there are you know, hundreds of people that have hundreds of millions of dollars or billions of dollars that can buy islands and facilitate whatever it is that they want. That was very eye-opening to me because that was something that was shared to me within this video. And even if there's just one or two more, right? For, for me, it's the more that you are informed about a problem, regardless of how small or how big, If it's for the greater good, why can't it be shared just like everything else? When we're talking about, you know, racism, even if it is exaggerated, why can't we talk about it, right? When it comes down to human trafficking or sex trafficking, why can't we talk about it openly, even if it is exaggerated? To me, it just doesn't make sense. How can we so willingly pass bills that are more controversial, in my opinion, than this? And yet we can't pass a simple bill that would make it a more severe crime for people who traffic children. Again, uh, I would love to learn more about this. One thing that I did learn is that it's not that this is the end of SB 14, it's that it's paused at least until the end of 2023 and hopefully reconsidered um, at the beginning of next year. Um, It's just obviously, it's just such a weird timing, right? We have everything going on with Sound of Freedom and supposedly it being, you know, really kept quiet And now with this SB 14, I think it's, I don't know, it's a perfect recipe for disaster. Um, It just didn't sit right with me. And I wanted to share this video with you guys. uh, And I hope it provided some more insight um, on what I've learned so far. If you guys have any questions, again, well, you don't even need to ask me because I'm still taking time to learn more about it. But let me know in the comment section what you think. I hope that earned your thumbs up. I hope... Most of you weren't offended by this video. Um, And if so, please consider subscribing if you guys haven't done so already. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.